people good morning how are you everybody <laughs> I'm on the road I got up early I did the chores and now I'm hitting the road and I'm not gonna have the most stable connection but I should be all right um, I have to head to the auction so I'll wait for a few people to tune in here and I'll let you guys know what I'm up to having my breakfast it's a banana and coffee I'll try to read comments and not focus on my camera hi how you doing Tracy hello Bobby how's it going good morning good morning good morning hi Cindy hi Tracy hi Gina all right let's keep up with these comments here whoa they're coming in like crazy all right all right I get I guess everyone got a notification hi Sharla hello hi Tracy hi Gloria hello hi Cindy Mary, Linda, Corinne, Denise, welcome. Good morning this morning. So, I have to head to the auction house. Um, yesterday, Jeff and my wife, we worked on loading up the trailer. We got the trailer loaded up with a bunch of stuff from the other farm that's gonna go to auction. Auction starts on Friday night, that's the tool auction, and then Saturday is the actual field auctions where there's a bunch of equipment and random stuff. That's where most of my stuff is going. Hello, hello. Thursday blessings, huh? So that's where I'm going because what happened is we got the trailer loaded and we brought it to the auction house last night, but we got there a little after 4. I think it was 4.30ish and they were closed. So I dropped my trailer at the auction yard left it there disconnected but it's not offloaded I have to offload it they open their doors at 8 o'clock so I'm heading over there because I have to offload the trailer I have to tag every item that I want to sell and then what I need to do from there is hook the trailer back up bring it to the other farm drop it off I also need to unload the back of my truck then I need to drop it off. Then I need to head to Y missing because I have an appointment in Y missing. So, yeah, Devin, you're actually getting notifications for some reason, but only when I go live through StreamYard. Good morning, Devin, by the way. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I gotta then drop the trailer and head to Y missing for my appointment. Then I have to head back to the old farm. I have to load up more stuff bring it to the auction <laughs> and then probably do that a couple of times that's gonna be my day and it looks like it's going to rain today um, so it's gonna be crazy I don't know I don't want to be soaking wet but it is what it is the guy in front of me looks like he's going to the auction too <laughs> please hit the thumbs up correct Kayla hit the thumbs up <sighs> so the good news is the dingo was up and running. I was able to um, use that to load up the trailer. I got it safely loaded onto the onto the trailer, no issues. Well, I had a slight issue, and I did record that. So I will put supposed to rain today and tomorrow. I hear yes, absolutely. Rhonda, thank you so much. Or did you know you just highlighted? How is that? Why is Rhonda's name all highlighted? Welcome new member oh you're a new member you signed up I get it I understand now so StreamYard looks like that if you become a member or join on on this is where it gets confusing guys I don't want you to get confused or anything to watch my channel to watch my pages to see the content that I do it is completely free right except when you want to get uh, become a subscriber when you want that badge when you want to be a special person <laughs> you want to support the farm uh, in a monetary way you can join over on YouTube as well uh, you don't get much extra content over there I haven't done anything that's really just so you get a subscribers badge and show that you support the farm and that's that um, but anyways yeah so if you're just tuning in heading off to the auction so I can offload everything they open at 8 uh, I think what I'm gonna do is hopefully we can stay live right now while I head that direction and uh, I can show you guys the preview of what's there. Now the gates don't open it. 
till 8. So honestly, I don't think that's really a smart idea. Now that I think about it, it's all going to be locked up. I'm not going to be able to show you anything. I'll get there and it'll be nothing. So I have to determine a few things here. What time is it? It is 7.16. Hey, Leanne Kane sent a $1.99 super sticker. Thank you so much. And Rhonda sent a $2 super chat. Thank you. Oh, good morning. Oh my gosh, you got 10 inches of rain, Patty? That's a lot. That's like flooding conditions. Now, I heard and I've seen other farms like Shirtless Jake and all those guys down in Texas. Um, you got Lester. They were getting hit really, really, really hard. Flooding expected. They were really just getting slammed by all this rain. Prayers for the farms there. Um, that's pretty nuts. It's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, the second show, or the second loading, you want me to show you what's going on? I could probably do that. Uh, everything's flooded. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Mm. I can't really eat my banana that fast because I'm talking to you guys. So I'm on a road called Pricetown Road right now. Then what we're going to do, if you hang tight, whoa, virtual stars, Amy. I got a lot of them. Thank you very much. Um, Heather Patala. $1.49 super sticker. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and stop at the other farm uh, and I'll feed the cows. You guys get to see Chuck, Uno, and Cinco. The problem is I am on cellular data. I cannot do anything about any choppy video. I can't do anything about pixelation. I can't do anything about poor quality connection because I am on the cell towers right now I'm at the mercy of whatever I get and it is very cloudy out so I'm assuming it's going to uh, I'm assuming that whoa ho Cheryl Greco dollar nine nine Cindy Laird 1999 ladybug sent two dollars and Sarah Young sent a four dollar super sticker Wow holy smokes thank you guys that came through like a flood no pun intended right there but wow thank you very much North Dakota in the house. How you doing? I am driving. This is correct, Erica. Happy birthday, Jennifer. Everybody say happy birthday to Jennifer. Good morning, Terry. How are you? You may have a clear stream now. However, but wait. Just wait. I get very bad signal at the other farm. So, hopefully we don't disconnect and we're all good. House. Uh, I can't catch all these comments. I'm sorry. Some of them are pretty fast. Some of them come through pretty fast. Um, again, if you're joining me, I'll say this again. I know I sound like a broken record to anybody that's been on from the beginning, but a lot of people that have just hopped on are probably wondering why I'm on the road and where I'm going. And the idea is that uh, Saturday is the big auction. Now, this is a big deal in this area. Like, it's almost like a holiday. Everybody, I'm talking, everybody goes. There's so much stuff. Yesterday, we went there to drop stuff off. <laughs> How much stuff is already there? I see lines and lines and lines of lawnmowers. Rhonda said $1.49 again. Thank you very much. There are lawn, there, there's lawnmowers, there's trucks, there's tractors, there's chains, there's tools, air compressors, there's walk-in coolers, there's freezers, there's, uh, I just, uh, it, it's like a man's dream, uh, essentially. Um, so <laughs> let me tell you a little something. We brought Jeff last night. Well, no, Jeff brought himself to help out, which thank you very much, Jeff, everybody. I appreciate that. And when we went to go offload this stuff and found out they were closed and we couldn't offload and we dropped my trailer off and that's what I'm going this morning to do is to offload the trailer. But listen, <laughs> Jeff was more excited than me. I told Jeff, I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything at this auction. Well, okay, let me rephrase that before I get myself into some trouble, okay? I am pixelating a lot, I kind of figured. Let me explain. I am in the market for a hay wagon, okay? I would love a hay wagon. The reason why I want a hay wagon, this is not for wagon rides to go around the farm. I would like a hay wagon I could take somewhere. We could load it up. I could haul the hay wagon. Did I scoop? 
on the shooter. Get the scoop on the shooter. Yes, yes, yes. I'll tell Phil in just a minute on that. Um, and then I can take the hay wagon and park it in the top half of the barn, and I don't have to unload it. It's I can just unload it as I need it, right? That's probably the smartest idea. Oh, yours is. Are we? Are we bad? How bad's the internet now? It's really gonna get choppy. I told you. I told you it's gonna get choppy. So much more clear than Facebook. So I guess if you're having a bad it, a connection, you can go to Steinmetz Family Farm. Just type it in in the address bar, and then type YouTube, and you'll bring us. It'll bring it to the thing. So, yeah. So what happened was, is the boy up in um, in Batavia. This is at the Walmart that Mindy works at. She called me yesterday in a frantic because they had their store evacuated because they were alerted that someone with a gun came into the store. And listen, do you know what? People are on top of things because you never know in this world what could actually happen. There are crazy scenarios. We've all heard of them where there's this shooting, that shooting, whatever. Um, so you can never be too safe. I feel really bad for the the kid because here's what happened. The kid was go, go, he, the kid was going there to return an air rifle. He was headed to the store. He even called ahead of time to ask if he could return the air rifle, and they said yes. Well, when he got out of his car and he pulled the rifle out of his car, it wasn't in the box anymore, right? So, when somebody in the parking lot saw this kid get out of the, the car with a rifle and walk towards the store, they were on 911 right away, and people started going. Now, I'm getting ready to pull into the old farm. I'm gonna pause for a second when I get in here, uh, and we're gonna creep back to the backfield and feed the cows. So I'm pulling into the uh, original SFF right now. I'm gonna stop at the end of the driveway. Okay, and I'm gonna finish my story. So the kid was obviously confronted, probably scared out of his mind because he was literally doing what he was told he was allowed to do from uh, an employee on the phone. And so they're researching they're researching um, who might have told him that that was okay. But coming in, he, not, he might not have had all his brain cells there because think about it. Like that is a, that's a pretty bold move right there to hop out of your car with what looks like to be an assault rifle. Of course you're going to be, you know, bombarded, right? Hey, Brian, is it your birthday? Happy birthday to you, buddy. Um, I did look up the laws in New York just to be curious. Now, believe it or not, it is not illegal, but it's not practiced, but it's not illegal to walk around with an unloaded rifle. It is not illegal. There are no laws against it, but it obviously is not practiced. So you could probably, you know, <laughs> somebody might take this and push it to the limits in the future just to get some attention. But, uh, oh, your YouTube cleared up. Facebook is clear. That's good. Um, yes, this is true. Side note, Teresa Soto, correct. Walmart doesn't ever take rifles back, and that's firearms back because that's the reasoning behind it. Um, they don't take firearms back. But for some reason, somebody on the phone told them it was okay. Um, but you're shopping for me, boss man. Uh, yeah, of course, Mindy wants me to look at the auction to see if there's any type of little billy goat shed for her uh, from New York. Guys, do you see how gross this nail is? Oh my goodness. This is the one I smashed, and it is starting to hollow out on the backside. It's going to come off soon. It's gross. Um, okay, let's get rid of Reuben Richards. Let's see. Block user. All right, Ruben's gone. Okay, there you go. All right, we are here at the farm. Let me pull forward. Let's see what happens with my connection issue. I'm going to try to figure out how to turn my camera around real quick. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, one second. 
All right, and we're gonna reverse the camera to two. Okay, so here's what the <laughs> here's what the other farm is missing: a junkyard. <laughs> the other farm is missing a junkyard area. Now, listen, I personally believe that all farms, all farms, should have some place to store and keep all of their things. Like, oh man. Okay, so let's just look over here for example. I have a lumber rack, right? With some usable lumber that I pick off of there when I have projects to do, all right? Of course, right over here, we've got a snowmobile. Like, you know, we ride that in the winter time. Over here, I've got some shelving that I'd like to put up one day. That's not gonna happen. Over there is an army tent full of tools. There's the dingo. Uh, random and tires, right? There's the beast, guys. You guys remember the beast? The beast is going to be up for sale if anybody's looking to buy the beast. Uh, the beast one is awesome. Chain hoists. Oh, oh, somebody's here. Look who we got. Come over to this side. Look at that. Now, this is the stuff I'm getting ready to take to auction over here. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. Did, the ducks. did you know I was live mm -hmm. and you know I was coming? Mm -hmm. All right. So you came over to say hello. Mm -hmm. So I was getting ready to do the cows and then I got to head on down to the auction. I was just telling them, I was trying to justify the reason why I need uh, all this stuff. Oh, how'd that go? <laughs> it worked. It sounded great in my head. And yeah. as it was coming out, I couldn't really find the words to completely justify it but Aww. all right if it, nobody knows who this is this is lori weston good morning lori weston is um mark weston's wife mark uh does the sunday show you guys know that hope ministries you might want to check that out on sundays for a bible study every sunday at 8 11. she also has fixing up the farmhouse Boy, oh boy, she can have a lot of fixing to do, but she has, uh, they have possession of our farmhouse right now, and over the next couple years, they're going to work on renovating it if uh, all goes well. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, she's already started some stuff, some, some projects, a couple of things, and it's been fun to watch, and it's hilarious, so yeah. Good. Good. I'm going to need some tips for you on how, how to keep the duck pond uh, from going green now that it's warming up. Fresh water. You need to constantly run something in it. That's what I thought. Yeah. You know what you could do? Oh, I was just thinking. Because we can't create a stream. They don't want erosion, right? They don't want erosion. So if the output of your um, water that runs... Recirc no, we don't want to recirculate it. But you could take the output and just put it in the green grass on a hose somehow. I don't know how you would... I don't I exactly know. Right? Well, not really, because I'm thinking, what if the hose went across the top of the water and was dropping some out? Okay. Oh, yeah, you'd still have... Well, that would give you the fresh water, and then the output would overflow. Right. I'm just trying to think of a way that you could... I added some, and then it's the other day, and it's getting greener. So I put fresh water out for them to drink. Right. You're going to have that issue without the constant flow going in of... In and out. And in and out. Now, here's an idea if we can move the ducks to some other place for uh, maybe two weeks and we get in there and we seed all of that, right? If we seed all around the pond and there's right. only nine ducks, I don't think there would be an issue. Well, you know what? We know what it's all about. It's all about erosion. So, because my thought is you could plant the grass seed all around the pond and when it overflows, there's no particular, there's no particular stream. There's no erosion. Right, but before it gets to that, what if there was a, a, a barrier of rocks, of stones, yeah. you know, gravel, right. and the water seeps through the gravel, gets to the grass, and just dissipates? Right. You can do that, and that right. would let you, you know, you would might have a, a soggy area in that area. Grass That's is gonna okay. be very green, but as long as it's not erosion, you're not having any problems with the conservation department. Okay. So, I mean, there's ways to think about how to do it, but yeah, we're in a whole new scenario now, so. I I'm not quite sure. That's why I thought I would consult you between the two of us. Maybe we can brainstorm. I mean, something. there's chemicals you can add to keep it green. There's, you can put in a UV filter, right? And that pumps the water through a UV light. 
but with the amount of sediment and mush that's in that pond, you're going to constantly have problems. Um, there are some UV lights that might be submergible that are waterproof. Then you need power, obviously. So you could submerge a, a UV light in there, but UV light kills the algae, kills the bloom. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it'll be something like that because what I was ultimately wanted to do was have a couple different ones that one trickles into the other and trickles into the other and then yeah. the bottom one circles back up. Maybe it could go through a filter before it goes to the top one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. If you did a recirculation type thing you, you uh, with a series of tanks, have you ever heard of the living machine? No. Is that like with your bio balls? And right. Stuff? So you can do the same concept. If you want to do a couple of different ponds, I want you to Google the living machine. Okay. All right. What it is, is uh, somebody came up with a, an idea on how to clean toxic water, like toxic. Oh. I'm talking nasty, green, toxic water. And with a series of, you know, chambers and tanks, in each one, there were different types of plants inside of those. This wouldn't be for the ducks on those other ones. What those would be is right. your, your natural filters, right? Right. So you would have a series of ponds that have either some sort of fish to eat some sort of that, and you would recirculate back oh, to the I top, see. right? You would right. just, and that would trickle down, and as it trickles through each layer, it cleans the water, uh, literally makes it, this guy came out with an the ability to drink the water at the end of it it came out that clean wow. so currently penn state university actually has in one of their campuses a all of their effluent all of their wastewater goes into a greenhouse it gets clean and it gets recirculated right back into the building wow. for them to use isn't that insane yeah. so yeah there's ways to do it without having but a lot of it requires some thought uh, some research and then have actually some execution. Is your is your old biofilter tank repairable? Um, it is. It's it right over here. Yeah, you could you could probably sand it and fiberglass it. Okay. So you could probably do that or some sort of patch kit or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, you could definitely do something with okay. that. I mean, there's this big huge uh, tank right here if you're interested. Um, yeah, but probably too big. Well, it can never be too big. Uh, because think about it, how much water you would pump into there, that would give it a lot of time. However, I, I, I want to get some good money okay, at the auction money for that. that <laughs> yeah, you do. Anyway, so, how's your signal? I don't know. How is my signal, guys? How is my signal? Um, yes, her, her page is called Fixin' Up the Farmhouse with an, uh, a hyphen at the end of it, right? Fixin'. Yeah. Fixing, like you're fixing your beans, fixing the, I'm fixing to go feed the cows, uh, fixing up the farmhouse. Like Everyone it. says fuzzy, blurry, pixelated, yeah. and then some people say good, 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 That's blurry, wild. fuzzy, good, blurry, slightly pixelated, good. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I knew I was on the road and that was going to happen, so. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to head down there, feed the cows real quick, say hi to them. I might completely lose signal when I get over there, because for some reason... The back half of the no, property you still haven't is. Added our Wi-Fi, have you? No, but it doesn't reach back there. I know, but you, you <laughs> have a nice one right through here. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. That's fine. Anyway, okay. Well, on one of your trips today, have a peek at the pond, and you'll see yes. what I'm referring referring to, and maybe some new ideas will come to you. Yeah, I mean, I know what you're talking about. I've dealt okay. with the green water before. I know exactly what you're talking about. So it, oh, oh, I wanted to tell you, the fish in the swimming pool. Are they alive? Some of that big. No way. Yeah. No yeah, yesterday way. Yesterday, I went walking up there and I saw him. I was like. Okay. So what she's referring to, guys, <laughs> is we put over, uh, what was, I don't know what was going on. Last summer, the swimming pool got green and the pump, I shut the pump off and it got green. But there were mosquitoes festering in there. So I went and we went and got a bunch of goldfish and put them inside of the. Summer, but they're black. Well, yeah, we just bought these little teeny goldfish, okay, little, and they were all different colors. I think right. I think Missy and Mindy or somebody did that. So they're still alive. They survived yeah, the they're winter. Like, they're like that long. Oh, my long. gosh, because they were so small. That yeah, is really cool. They're that big. So they, they're in the swimming pool literally to just clean the pool, to keep the mosquitoes down. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, man. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. moving forward. 
See ya. Bye. All right. Well, as I was saying, every farm needs some stuff. You need a junk area for your farm. Look, who doesn't need a giant pile of wood a hundred times over? All right, bear with me, guys. I want to see how well the uh, connection is. We're going to drive back here to the cows. Please stay with me. Even if I drop out, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to drive across the field. Now look, we're going to drive to the back field. We're going to yell for the cows. Luckily, the field is dry right now. Before the rain gets here. Hey, there's wild geese. Check this out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom in and show you. Chuck! Moo! Let me shut my truck off so we don't have any engine sounds in the way. Look, there's two mated pair of geese right there. Can you see them? Can you see them? Right there? There's a male and a female. They mate for life. And there's also wild ducks around here too. I don't know where they're at. Chuck! Hello! Moo! You guess what? Everything's growing now, so the cows are... Guess what I did last year? Guess what happened last year? I never fed them through the summer because there's so much green stuff for them to eat. So they're already out back eating, and we're going to actually get to slow down feeding them hay bales whether they're here or at the other farm it doesn't matter where they're at we're gonna get to slow down on feeding them so Chucky where are you at I'll go blow the horn see if we can get his attention the energizer is still working Chuck! Where is he? Where is this guy? Where is Chucky? Chuck, how many people do we still have here? I realize that we're not connected to a Wi-Fi. Let's see. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? What is he doing? He is headbutting a log. He's literally lifting it up with his head. Chuck, I brought you food. Come on. Hey. Chuck, I see you hiding out there. I heard it. What is going on, buddy? What is going on, buddy? Hey, look. See, he's e eating green stuff. He's he's out here hunting. He's foraging for the green stuff. I miss you too, buddy. I miss you too and your giant horns. I do. I miss you too. Hey, nope. I'll be on this side of the uh, log. Keep our distance. What are you doing, buddy? Are you pooping? Are you constipated? You look like you were constipated for a second. 
Hi, Chucky. Hello. Would you like to kiss me? Come here. Mm -hmm. It's so gross. I don't ever recommend but it's really gross. Okay. I think, I think he's a little. I think I. I don't know. Is he play? Oh, oh my! My gosh, he's got to be strong to do that. This is an entire trip. Chuck and uh, Uno and Cinco are over there. Oh my gosh, you're gonna hurt yourself. He's just showing off now. Now he's showing off. Do you feel good about yourself after that? Huh? You feel good about yourself? No, I'm going over here. I'll be on this side. Just in case. I'm in the woods. I can't really bolt away that fast. I love you. I get it. <laughs> I just saw you what you did with those horns, and you want me to play with you. You would toss me around like a little rag doll. Yes, you would. Oh, you just slobbered my pants. Oh, my goodness. You slobbered my pants. Oh. Ow. Sucker. <laughs> well, what are you going to do now? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, he's lifting that. I want to lift it. Hold on. I want to see if I can lift it up. Let me get closer. I want to see how heavy that log really is. I want to get a, a feeling for it. Back up just a smidge. I'm not even kidding, guys. That is a heavy log. Nope. I can't move it. I can't move it. But he sure can. You got a good... I, I don't know how much he weighs uh, based on what I've seen cows. Look at that. Look how effortlessly he moves that. Duh, guy, listen. You're moving it so... Oh, my gosh. This is insane. He is shredding it. He is shredding it to pieces. Oh, my goodness. The strength he has. Oh, guy, listen, I know, you showed off your, you showed your, is this log in your way? Is that the problem? You can't go around it? You can't go around it? Ah, <laughs> I like that. He's rearranging his furniture. That is perfect. <laughs> listen, boy, I brought you some food. They didn't come running for food because there's so much green stuff growing here. This is what they're eating all day. They're eating all this all day. Plus, there's the entire field back there, an entire pasture. Plus, there's a pasture up here. So they have plenty of food. They'll probably go munch on that hay, but most likely he's. Uh, they're going to start eating off the land, which is what we want. Right? It's what we want. Bye. I'm leaving. I got to go to the auction. I won't bring you. I won't bring you. Because I love you. No, watch your head, man. Goodness. I really don't like when you try to... Oh, that feels good. Yeah, I had an itchy spot right there anyways. Your tongue is... Whoa, you burped in my face. All right. Guys, say goodbye to Chuck. I would show you the other two over there, but they're being antisocial right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going back through the woods. Over the hills and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Let's do an obstacle course. Da, 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 da. Run, run. Whew, over. Under. And. We're good. We're clear. <coughs> I'm, I'm training for a 5K. Whew. He's coming now. 
I gotta hit the road. Let's go. Hey. Yeah. Some more stuff I gotta offload at the auction right there. Let's rotate my camera around. <sighs> he come running out of the, look, he came running out of the woods. He loves me. Ooh. Hello, people. Let's go. I'm about 10 minutes away from the auction. So let's do this. We'll go see what we can show you. So come with me. Make sure I'm good in the camera. Looks great. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm having a slight issue here. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning, and we're off. 5K inches to the truck. Right, that's, yeah, you're funny. You're hilarious. Let me take this out of four-wheel drive. I didn't actually need it. The ground is dry. So if you're just tuning in or if you tuned in uh, and you weren't here this morning when I first went live at 7-Eleven, I am on the road to the auction. I had to stop at the old SFF, the original farm, and um, feed the cows. And I am going to the auction house. What happened is I brought the trailer there. Last night, I was going to offload the trailer and tag all the items. They were closed. So I dropped my trailer off at the auction yard. And they open at 8 o'clock, so it's 747. I'm trying to get there when the doors open so I can get in there, offload the trailer, offload the truck, tag it up, bring the trailer back to the old farm here so we can continue loading. But I have to head off to Why I'm Missing for an appointment um, for counseling, actually. I have to go, go through some counseling. I had that match last week, if you guys remember, the week before, where. Yeah, and I mean the truth is I have some, I have some internal things I should deal with anyways. There's some, there's some stuff that my wife tells me I like to just sweep it under the rug. I like to forget about it, and then I'm I'm really good for many many years. But she's afraid that one day it's gonna bottle up. I'm gonna bottle up and just explode one day. So I think I need to probably go get this stuff off my shoulders. Yeah, I see the goat races are the May 5th, guys. May 5th is the goat races. That would be Cinco de Mayo. Um, Cinco de Mayo. Counseling is helpful when it's needed. And especially, let me tell you this. There's only been one time in my life that I did counseling. And I don't know, I was, I was young. I was young. I don't know, I was probably... 14, I'm not sure, something like that. And I was basically forced to go to counseling. It was not something I wanted to do. I actually resented it. I considered it a joke. <laughs> so I remember specifically, you can imagine me, sitting with that counselor and making up some of the craziest stuff that probably wasn't even true. I, I don't know. I didn't take it serious. It wasn't, it wasn't wanted. Um, see, needed is one thing, but wanting the help is the biggest issue. Because if you don't want the help, if you don't want to deal through your stuff and you go and do it, you're never going to get anywhere. You have to want it first. And right now, I think I want it. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, there is probably a troll, but I can't take care of the troll right now. Somebody shove them back under the bridge if they can. <laughs> oh, it's justice. It's, yeah, justice is the one, right? I think I got rid of them. This is true. I am a vet. I am a vet and I probably need it. I don't know if Justice was the right guy, but I just blocked a guy named Justice. So hopefully, hopefully that does the trick.
Um, so yeah, today is the first day of my counseling. Uh, I did, however, had some phone calls for some counseling uh, uh, quite a few months ago, and I tried to I tried to deal with it that way, but it's very hard to it's very hard to uh, I don't know. I find being in person with somebody face to face, eyes on eyes, is the best way for me to tell my story. Because isn't that what counseling is all about? I'm really just going to tell my story and then they're going to come up with ways to help me deal with the emotions that I'm feeling or may not be feeling. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I... <laughs> I want this. I do. But the more I think about it, I kind of am getting scared because I'm afraid of what might be open. I'm afraid of what kind of things I've stuffed away in those boxes and locked up and threw away, I'm afraid of what we might open in the past. That's going to be scary to me. That's the only thing that I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, but I do know that whatever feelings I am feeling now, I do want to deal with. So I don't know. It'll be crazy, but we are getting close to the auction at 7.50. Open at eight o'clock. I'm trying to get there. I wonder if there's going to be a line of people. I have no idea. I don't even know if I have cell signal down there. I'm lucky, lucky enough that you guys have a... I don't know what he invented. No, Christine. What did he invent? I'm hoping I'll be the first one in line, but chances are most likely not. Everybody in this area is antsy for this auction. Everybody wants to go to this auction. Everybody wants to sell at this auction. Everybody wants to buy at this auction. So this should be um, should be really fun. There's so much stuff there. Okay, I t what did I say yesterday? Uh, Jeff, he made more girly noises when we got there than I did. He was all excited. He's like, uh, <laughs> it was definitely, you know how Lauren puts on her kindergarten voice, really high-pitched voice, gets all excited about... Uh, animals and children and whatnot yeah well that's that was Jeff yesterday when we pulled in the French drain no way ha. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm, I'm just laughing over an inside joke oh my goodness Okay, uh, it's 7.54. Whew. They will have you labeled with a mental issue, which is not fair, just because you have a bad day here and they medicine. Hopefully they won't put you on it. Well, I'm going to refuse antidepressants. I'm going to tell you that. After my experience with just the allergy medicines and what it did to me. Uh, I've never been on medication in my life. I've never had to deal with any antidepressants. I've never had to deal with any uh, ADHD medicines. Nothing. Like, no pain medicines. Nothing. I've been a clean and sober body and mind my whole life. So I'm not about ready to start polluting it with this medicine. Not going to happen. So I will I will be sure to stand my ground when I tell them I'm not interested in their in their pharmaceuticals. All right. Don't take the meds. I'm not going to take the meds. I won't. No. And I honestly think see here's the deal. There's a little difference between the military. See, I am using the VA right now. And the VA doctors, I don't know, I, I can't, uh, number one, I don't think I can compare apples to oranges. I don't know. This is really neat. I would show you right now, but it's, it's not really allowed. There is a one-room schoolhouse to my left with Mennonite children swinging on a swing outside right now with their bonnets and their hats on. Uh, the boys right now, they're playing baseball on this side. The girls are in their little dresses. This is, that's really cute. So we are in total Mennonite area. Um, I love this area. It's really cool. 
Uh, you know their little one room schoolhouse right there? It's it's cool. When you drive by it and you see the kids out playing, very neat. Uh, it's true, I am not depressed per se. There are things I need to deal with though. Um, I need to label my stuff. So let's go in. I'll bring you with. But I will not be recording any faces because, again, that's against the Mennonite community unless they specifically say it's okay. Let's go find out what I need here. What are we up to here? Whoa, hello. Good morning. Let's switch this around. We can go like this. Okay, I see 580 on total. Hey, you lost. No, you lost? Are you selling metal here? Do you think you'll get more of that first? Sale than stuff like that. I think Mennonite's bond or something. I'm building another pile for you. Oh yeah. I am. I, I didn't hear from you. I figured you moved everything. No. Uh, nope. I still got more stuff for you. <laughs> I'll be in touch. I'm actually selling stuff here. Oh, yeah. Yes. So your wife comes in on Saturday. Ah uh, yeah yeah I know I know. Out there. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Okay. Oh. 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 O
Yeah, I am too. Yeah, are you selling to buy? Yeah. 